Hello, welcome to Double Talk. I'm Mark Stafford. And I'm Michael Mandel. And, and last week was, what, 16th of September? Yes. And a, a very important holiday, Mexican Independence Day, That's right? That's correct. So today we're doing Cuatro Naranjas. Yes, we are. Uh, which is a Mexican word. And, uh, uh, so, which means four oranges. Really? Four oranges. What's for oranges? People, I am. You're for oranges? Well, then you'll be happy to drink this because there's four different flavors of orange here. I already put in, and this is an orange, but it's uh, necessary, uh, two-thirds of an ounce of uh, lime. lime juice. Uh, the next thing on our list, and this is from Tindred Cocktails, and uh, this is the tequila. This is an Espelon. I was going to bring uh, Jose Cuervo, but Mark doesn't drink Jose Cuervo, so, you know. That's, yes. for, that's for tourists. Anyhow, I usually mispronounce it. Right? Joe's. Josie? Joe's. Josie. Mm, very mild. Yes. It's really nice. Yes. Um, Remind uh, me to, to sample that separately later. No, we're going to oh, we're going to sample the, this separately. Mm -hmm. Wait till we get there. Um, two thirds of an ounce of Aperol. We've used Aperol before on this show, haven't we? New York style. Yes, and uh, we like Aperol. Aperol you use for an Aperol spritzer. It's sort of a lighter amaro type thing. Kind so of a sweet wine, really. Yeah, if you want to denigrate uh, uh, the amaro family. Well, it's all one big happy family. Slightly bitter. Mm -hmm. It's a little sweetie bitter thing. That's right. If you have a chance and you have YouTube, go look for Aperol commercials. It's a bunch of Italian girls running in the, uh, on the beach. Uh, another drink that we have very often here is Campari, which is necessary for what drink? Well, we use the that. The Negroni, for, yes. The Negroni. The Negroni. And I think Manhattan has that, doesn't it? Yes, it does. It's a sweet vermouth. No, not no, really. No, it's a bitter, bitter, bitter kind of vermouth. Vermouth. Some people can't drink Campari by itself. Some people love it. Some people well, drink good, beer. It's good mix. But who's, something else. who's saying anything? And the thing that uh, started this off was, you know, I was looking for something different for the, to this show yes. because we can't always do the same things. You know, people would say, oh, I already saw him do that drink. So I saw in my closet, of course. Do you have this in your closet? I don't, and I Cl see you haven't used it very much. No, but, but it is very good. It's got a special use, which is this drink. It's uh, Clement. A Creole shrub. It's a liqueur d'orange, which is sort of like a Cointreau or Grand Marnier, and it's a, a pretty good one. Yes, and we're, we're going to take a little hit of it now. Oh, okay. Just uh, to warn you what it's going to be about. Well, it's in the or the. Uh, it's in the orange family. Orange spectrum. But this is a really good one. Wow. Man, that's sweet. Wow. Wow. It leaves a, a stinging afterburn. Uh, that's why we're going to need a lot of citrus. <laughs> uh, so we do, um, we just do a third of an ounce of this thing. Which one's a third of an ounce? Is that three ounces? <laughs> well, I hope not. So it's a little bit, yeah, that, that's why there's so much left, Mark. Yes. Why did you buy that? You know, we're going to speak about this place later. Well. Toucan. It was on set on the sale table. Well, that's Obviously, was, nobody knew it was uh, really such was, a wonderful drink. That's why I was hoping you'd say Toucan. Because yes. The good news is with Toucan. Yes. Well, not, there's good news. They are not going out of business now. Yay! They they uh, they're still having a, they have a thirty percent off sale now, but they're now they're calling it their staying in business sale. And they will start storing up on things that we could get. You know, there are many good things I got there on the on sale liquor thing. That's one of them. Martin Miller Gin uh -huh. for 15 bucks. It's normally like 40. Yep. Uh, so we use three things with orange. There's a little orange in Aperol. Obviously, that has a lot of orange. Campari is a little orange. And Angostura orange bitters. Got heavy bitters. And uh, that'll cut some of that sweetness. Yeah, one dose. Dose. Uh, yeah, I was in Toucan on Thursday, and uh, most of the liquor department is gone, except there's still a fair number of wines left. Is but, there? But not a lot. When were you there, Tuesday? Thursday. Oh, and uh, hardly that. any booze was left. Some of the higher price stuff was still there. A lot of beer was still there. Was there? Oh, uh, you know, I have a feeling that they're gonna, they know people always drink beer in this town, so. Well, now that they don't have to really get rid of everything. Yes, so I'm expressing have, lime and lemon here. Very good, so they'll be restocking now soon. Yes. They got a loan, which allowed them to stay in business, which if they couldn't make it before a loan, 
now they're going to be in debt and have, you know, and but, have a loan. But they'll have, they've always been having to pay off a debt, probably. And now they ran out of money, but now maybe they ran out of money. I have no idea how a supermarket works. I don't think they were making money. They must have been making some money. Well, when they opened, we didn't have Sprouts and we didn't have natural grocers. I'm sure that had a huge effect. It did. And, you know, I think people, people are so empathetic to their plight and are so happy that they're there. And also, think about it. This is after a long, dry summer because they didn't have students. Now they have, at least have some students, now students who are, are forced to go by there. Right. They have to go get their Creole shrub oh. drink, you know. Also, there wasn't a Whole Foods on the west side of El Paso when they opened. Uh, that's a little further to go. But, yeah. I, I've been, I, go, I used to go to Whole Foods quite frequently. I don't have to so much now that we have sprouts and natural roses. This is friggin' cold. I hope so. Can I say friggin'? You can say friggin' on TV now. Okay. But so cold it's created a vacuum. You, you couldn't used to say pregnant, but you can say it now. You to say oh, that was a pregnant pause I just had. <laughs> I see. Uh, you, 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 I think you this has a great say, color, doesn't it? Yes. I, I think these ice cubes really melted a lot. I mean, it feels like there's a lot of give here. All right. Okay. Close enough. Close enough. I've expressed our lime and uh, lemon. Right, you're very expressive. Maybe a drop too many bitters. There's one drop of bitters. I saw more than one sneak in there. Well, it dripped into the side. It's, it's not the bitters, it's, uh, let's put more. Well, I must say, it's not as sweet as I expected. More Aperol. The lime juice really cut it too. Yeah, well, the lime juice is good. Yeah, a little, uh, probably a dash more Aperol would help. Yeah. But I mean just a dash. I mean, how'd you put it in there first? Is that dash? You gotta be careful. There. That's okay. about right. About half or the whole thing? Not the whole thing? No, I don't want the whole thing. Half that. Okay. Sometimes this is, you have to measure things. Like in cooking. Yeah, you do. It has to be exact, exact. But when you only have half and uh, ones, <laughs> a third is a ridiculous thing to do. That's slightly bitter. I mean, better. Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. Both. Something's doing a weird thing here. <laughs> I mean, it just tastes weird. I'm guessing it's a Creole shrub. Blame it on the Creoles. I'll bring it. Yeah, somebody has to take the brunt. Hey, now, you know. So. so now, one store is re-emerging, being resurrected. At yes. the same time, another store is dying. Oh. And that's the club store. Oh. Final maybe week. They'll, maybe we should give them a loan. This is the final week. This is it? 70% off everything, ladies and gentlemen, at the club store. And, on uh, Telshore. On North Telshore. And uh, stop in. They're still going to have Taco Tuesday this coming Tuesday on their final yes, week. And, uh, and who knows? They might have, uh, on that night, they might have a... a Dancing girls? A 90% blast. A 90% blast. Just get rid of this stuff. Could and happen. That's it. It's a lot easier than schlepping it out of there, right? They're even, they even want to sell the, the shelving units. You could use shelving, you know, to put more of my shelves up. Some of these shelves can hold 14,000 pounds. So if you've got a tire store or something like that, these are the shelves for you. They even have a forklift for sale. Oh, wow. I could use that for my collection of uh, New Yorkers. <laughs> you save them? They're priceless. Oh, those you, covers are, are timeless. Uh, you they, might, you, everybody loves. You might get around to reading them one day. Barb is getting around to reading them. <laughs> She's up to last uh, August. Yeah. She she. I did tell you she found out that uh, that Obama is no longer president. She's very sad. She yeah. doesn't actually read the fiction though, does she? Yeah, she does. Oh. She does. <laughs> Especially our homegrown uh, uh, writers. You know. I like when Thomas McGuane has one in there. I remember his stuff. 90 degrees in the shade. Remember yeah. that one? Well, that anyway. A, yeah, so. Speaking of in the 90 degrees in the shade. Yes. Sunspot Observatory. They're, they're open again. They were a little bit in the shade for a while, weren't they? Yeah. The uh, Solar Observatory was seeing no sun. Did Trump see that tower? He might like that tower, too. He, he might say, let's do that tower. It looks like a tower, doesn't it? It is a tower. It's a very pretty tower. Which houses the big you know, cell telescope. You use that tower as a wall and just make them, and we have yeah. a lot of telescopes. You can actually see that from Highway 70 as you approach uh, Alamogordo. It's on the top of the mountain, in the, Sandia, in the uh, Sacramento Mountains. Uh -huh. Anyway, the story about this whole thing sounds really fishy, well, doesn't it? Really it's really creepy. It was fishy. creepy. It was fishy before. They closed the whole place down because they thought there was a predatory murderer or something in the mountains. 
right? They closed it down because... Um, That's what they said first. Yeah, somebody found uh, kitty porn on the janitor's laptop. I know. Who How that endangers at, the entire neighborhood, I don't know. Who wants to look at baby cats? I don't know. I mean, kitties are cute. But... Um, Anyway, the man, yes. was, the man was around. First, they got a, a warrant signed they, by a Las Cruces judge yeah. to uh, go look at his search, stuff. search his laptop. They did that. Then he comes to work. His laptop's not there. He freaks out because he knows what's on it. He thinks somebody there might have stolen it. So he allegedly concocts this phony story about a serial killer on the loose. Oh, is that how that happened? And so uh, that was the opportunity to shut down the neighborhood. <clears throat> well... But he still was found out. They went to his house he, in La, in La Luz, out. where he lives. Yeah, didn't they take all him. the computers? Didn't they have to look through the computers because <clears throat> if he had kitty porn, then he was getting it from sort of outside Wi-Fi. sources that might have been, you know, not allowed to get in. I don't so know. who knows? <clears throat> anyway, he's open again, and you can go there and take a tour. But you can no longer see kitty porn. No. Oh. <clears throat> I, when I was in Boy Scouts, I took a tour of the place. Oh yeah. Yeah. You can look at the sun. And they see. didn't have computers then. Did you can they? see the sunspot. Did they have the sun? Was <laughs> it, it an it old there. sun? Was this good, dark, black, old sun? Black hole sun. Yeah, uh, black hole. So it's um, it's an interesting Worth place seeing. to go. It's quite a drive. You have to go through Timberon, I think. It takes forever, huh? It's a long mountainous drive. I threw up <laughs> on the mountainous trip. I did. I've thrown up on almost thrown up on trips oh, yeah. as a as a small boy. How I, small a boy were you? Fourteen? Uh, yeah, at the most. No. I was riding in the back of a Jeep, an open Jeep, oh. and there was a car behind us. I just threw out the back of it, and boy, did he yeah. slow down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, that's how you slow up traffic. <laughs> now, that's cool. There's well, other I, things closing. El Paso Electric is closing their offices on, on South Solano. I, I've been in there once before. You can't pay your bill there as of November. And what are they going to use it for? They're going to just close it down. It used to be an old bank, right? Yes, it was a bank, and then so. And uh, in and out burger, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Solano's a great place for food places. So now they'll pass electric. The only place you can do your your business with them is down at the downtown, the main place. on Water Street. You and think of this, with a town the size of Las Cruces, they'd be opening more. Well, offices, they should be opening some closing. way out on I seventy. Yes. So that, that's the place where they should open an extra one. But apparently, if everybody's going to go to the main one, you know, you could you could pay your bill online, and, I think and you can pay it why? automatically. But some people can't pay it automatically. They have they to, to have the money extracted from their bank. Extracted from their bank. They don't want to take a risk there. I don't either. You know, you get used to this drink. Do you get used to it? It's an acquired taste. It? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Well, it's you don't expect that flavor, and then once you expect it, you go. Mm, well, that's let me bad. have some more of that. Is that bad? Yeah, I'll have another one. But we'll see what we'll do after the break. Uh, you so, know, we have a big election coming up in just two months. And um, is that going to help get the electric? We, our two congressmen from New Mexico are both running for governor. That's true. And why not? That's the next step. Michelle Lujan Grisham you know, it's, and Steve Pierce. They want it to look good on their resume for when they run for president. So we're, we're losing a Democrat and a Republican from the House of Representatives. Yes. And one of them is going to be our, ma- our uh, governor. Or none. Maybe Gary Johnson's going to win. That's true. Is he, he running? He's running, right? No, he's not running. He's running for the Senate. Oh, God. Yeah. Not governor. He's been a governor. He did two terms as governor. Yeah, this is why I don't want to find out about news, because who knows? And, you know, Michelle and Steve, they both claim they've never smoked pot. <laughs> now, I don't know if I want to vote for a governor. Who doesn't who have any experience in the world. Has never smoked pot or thinks they have to lie about not having smoked pot. One way or the other. That's right. Well, Barack Obama said he did. We know Clinton George did. Bush said he did. Clinton did. did. Yeah. I think he couldn't get it in the, in the White House. Well, why not? They got an Oval Office. <laughs> it could it spins. Time for a break. Yeah. Well, we're going to go smoke pot, uh, but we're not going to tell you about it. So we'll see you right after the break. We'll be high as a kite. What do you mean we?
This time of year, everyone is having a sale, but there is only one sale that gives you wholesale prices and clearance savings on quality merchandise. It's the Club Store Outlet in Las Cruces. It's merchandise from stores like Walmart, Target, Sears, Sam's Club, and Costco. But there is no membership fee, and the prices are below wholesale and up to 95% off the retail. Indoor and outdoor furniture, quality rugs, housewares, small appliances, bed and bath, non-perishables. We're open seven days a week. Come in today and see what you can find. 910 North Telshore, next to Outback Restaurant. Buy more, save more. See you there. Mark Goldstein, the safe money guy, at 575-556-2472, to learn about innovative strategies now available to help you grow, protect, and preserve your money and financial future, regardless of market conditions. Horizon Granite is here. We'll come to you to customize your kitchen and bathroom with beautiful countertops and cabinets. Find out more at horizongranite.com. Call us at 575-650-3180. Horizon Granite is here. It's here. Make yourself a beautiful home. Come to Tacos El Borrego de Oro in Las Cruces. We are celebrating $1 Taco Tuesdays. Come enjoy authentic Mexican food for the whole family. Bring the family to Tacos El Borrego for $1 Taco Tuesday and Flauta Thursday. We are back. It, that's, no, that's not Jingle Bells. We're shaking it again. We, we don't know what this is going to be. Shake it, baby. This is going to be, we'll see what it's going to be. Well, we've made a new tequila drink. You, you, yes, uh, you, you may be here for the birth of uh, an incredible, weird, non-Negroni Negroni. You know, if, if you mix two or three alcohols that have never been mixed together before, you're making you've a got drink. a cocktail. You do. And sometimes it's good. And sometimes... Uh, and you, you get to name it. Sometimes you throw out the up at the back window. It's like a comet or a planet. Cheers. You get naming rights. You know what? I think I it's like pretty this good. better. It's pretty good. Mm. <laughs> mm. Well, what else good? A little lemon, maybe? No. Nah. Okay. Please. Good. Stop. No, you oh, what are we talking about? Stop. Now, you know when to stop. We have a problem with our You got to know when to stop when you go into school and you, everybody gets uh, sneezy. Yes. Well, there's one. we have one less school zone to have to drive through now. Thank because goodness. Columbia Elementary is closed, probably indefinitely. Because well, they have a mold problem. Mold is invasive. And uh, well, I don't want to name names, but Wooten construction, construction. Who built the thing, built, screwed up, let's face it. They didn't put the moisture barriers in correctly. And also something with the foundation was cracking. Yeah, they, they blame the fact that, oh, we were rushed. We had to get it ready for when school was opening. You know, construction around here is bad enough when they take their time. Um, when, when you I have don't to know rush where that it, line is going to go, yeah. Uh, if we, it's if, a nightmare, yes. obviously. So um, Wooten has done many buildings around town. So I you think know. they get it right? So by they, now they got one six million dollar project wrong. What are you going to do? Slap them on the wrist? Well, n now they're probably going to hire them to tear the thing down. They, they're thinking about closing it, closing it, and removing it from and the face of the earth. So it's an elementary school, and they're going to Centennial High. That's kind of interesting. That's a long high school. Long commute. It's it's cross town. It's almost as far as you can go. Well, you, you Columbia's to, up north of here. Yes, and they said it's Centennial because Centennial has room. They Maybe room they there. overbuilt there, but yeah. it works. And they have a large athletic field, so there's room to accommodate the kids. Yeah, just send them out with PE. Make sure they don't go past the fences. Um, so, so mold. Mold's deadly. Cause yes. uh, respiratory problems in anybody. And you never know when you have mold problems. I always worry. You never know what's going on in your house, right? You never well, know. You know, when, you I never was, know. when I was born, you know, they said, oh, when he was born, they threw away the mold. Well, some of it grew back. Now, 
Ah, it's good to hear history. Um, we, we had a we we've had another Catholic clergyman uh, accused of sexual misconduct here in Las Cruces, and uh, we just recently had one in Hobbs. We have one here, Rogelio Martinez. He you know, was, when he, he was relieved of his duties. At least he was relieved finally. I think that was his problem. He couldn't get relieved. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, uh, that happens a lot because you spend all your time with religion, well, you know, you, you go a little nuts. Hector Balderas, our Secretary of State, has demanded that the this diocese turn over all records. Uh, That's pretty good. So that uh, an investigation can be made, not just for Mr. Martinez, but for everybody, everybody. else. Everybody. You know, Meanwhile, our our Archbishop has been promoted. Yeah, he's promoted. He's, yes. he's going to be out And we're going to have a new Archbishop who has to take on all these things. Every, you know, all around the country, this is happening. All around on the uh, world. Uh, yeah, Ireland. Ireland. You don't time. hear it so much South around America. Italy, though. Italy, you know, I think they're used to it. That's their lifestyle. Not that I'm being, I mean, actually, I'm uh, appreciating Italy for their lifestyle. Well, you know, just outside of Taos, there is a retreat where they send all of the pervert priests really? to rehabilitate them. Is that where you've been? I've been by it. And um, Do you need hits? And they're there for a while. They're, they're supposed to get re rehabilitated. Then they release them back into the wild <laughs> to ply their filthy trades again. Just like the lobo wolf. They get, they, we grow them, and then we send them into the wild to balance yes. nature. Maybe they're balancing nature. Well, it's weird. Speaking of nature, if you're like, speaking about nature, if you like farm animals, I don't. You do too. No, maybe you eat them, you eat them like you, more than I do. I like meat. Yes, well, farm animals are grown to be eaten. No, they're in the store. <laughs> and if you want to they're see them, they're in plastic bags. Not in the wild, you but are, in you're their pens. A sick man. If you, you want, just you know, you go back too far, and you're a monkey. So just watch out. <laughs> I'm a monkey. Yes. You're so, a given. So am I a given? <laughs> yes. So, so this weekend, you can see all kinds of farm animals at the Southern New Mexico State Fair. Pigs. Oh. Starting on rodeo. Starting on Wednesday. Yes. Starting on Wednesday, we have the big bull riding event. Yes. And that's uh, always exciting. The the goal. I mean, if your goal in life is to sit someplace for eight seconds, I've done it. You're not there. You no. Haven't. Well, not there. You can't be nuts. You're sitting on something that doesn't want you sitting upon them. Yeah. So that that rodeo is this coming Wednesday night out at the fairgrounds. They're also at the fairgrounds, they're going to have the uh, stunt, stunt dogs. They're also good. Stunt dogs. That's stunt pretty good. Stunt dogs. And they're also going to have a roaming uh, comedian. Roaming comedian. Which is not us. <clears throat> Usually Jamie O'Hara's out there doing his magic bit. Well, I think that's different than there's the always roaming a, comedian. There's always a carnival out there, midway events, uh, you know, exhibits. When, when first coming to this area, sort of from New York, I mean, a rodeo was sort of Quite a thrill because you know you probably called it it's Rodeos. very different. Rodeo, like Rodeo Road, of course. Mr. Like in New York, the Rodeo Road where all the rich stores are. In yes. New York. Yes. So, uh, I what do you the know? Entrance to the fair is now fourteen dollars for adults. No, it is. And there must be some specials where you can get it for ten. What about for it's senior citizens like you? I don't think that matters. Yes, it does. I think it's fourteen dollars. I think you better stop dyeing your hair if you want to get in. For no, cheap. I can't do that. No. There's specials, so go there. In fact, if you do Rodeo, you can get in for free. You just have to ride a bull. How hard is that? You just have to last eight seconds, for God's sakes. Uh, you know, if you could last eight seconds at sex, you could probably last eight seconds on a bull. Rodeo Cowboys. It's the same thing. Rodeo Cowboys are trained it? athletes, and they can hardly do it. Sure. They just make it look tough, so they can jump off real early. What is that a picture of? That's, that's a stunt dog. Oh my God! Okay, that, that's like a Modigliani sculpture that went wrong. He's doing a half axle. With a, <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, you know Okazuri is one of our uh, sponsors, sponsors, and we like uh, Okazuri. And right now they're having a Facebook fan special going on. Really? Oh yeah. What do you have to do? If you have their Facebook, uh, what page? Presence. You go to your page. Yes. Presence on your phone. Just take it and show it to them. Really? Instead of paying ten dollars for an item, you'll pay. Four dollars and fifty cents. You're making this up. No, you're not making this I'm, up. I'm sort of making your uh, guesstimating. But that's but th that's not the reason. Okazuri is a really good sushi place, so I think that's the reason to go. Yeah, and we all like it. 
Get but the, there's, there's special deals you can access if you're uh, a Facebook fan special. Yes, you should uh, do that. If you don't like sushi, which for some people I understand you don't have to. is crazy, they their orange chicken was pretty much one of the best things that I've ever tasted in my life. <laughs> and remember, I've just come off Yom Kippur, where you're fasting and you, everything looks great. But oh. the the orange chicken is still uh, one of my favorite things. You came off Yom Kippur. Dog food looked good to you. Didn't it? Anything, you know, you go past McDonald's, you go, I wonder what they sell there. What do they sell? Nobody knows. What do they sell? Believe me, nobody knows. Is, is that farm animal? Anything to do with farm animals? They put uh -huh. farm animals in those things? Sometimes. Really? They, used to, just, they also put they used, chickens and turkeys they, but together. But don't put kangaroo meat in there, too. Kangaroo meat makes you a little jumpy. Now, La Grande Fiesta is going on this weekend, uh, Saturday and Sunday at the downtown plaza. Uh, it's a big fundraiser for, for CARES Cancer. I heard them tuning up. It's pretty... Yeah, that's going that downtown on. downtown plaza is getting really popular. Saturday night, you're going to be there till uh, midnight. Well, and uh, yeah, I guess bedtime is going to be like later. From 12 to 12, and then Sunday it's from I think 12 to five or six. That's human. That's civilized. So it's going on. There's going to be music and food and and fundraising and fundraising. It sounds yeah. like fun. It's so, not. You know what's good now is it's not that hot out there anymore. It's God, it's not going to even hit 90, I think, right? You could go to the farmer's market, stay for the fiesta. Right. What do you buy at the farmer's market? If you want. Uh, what produce? do you buy? Produce. Oh, produce. Among other things. Bagels. And, so the uh, movie in the park is Star Wars. Oh, we have the pulse here. Star Wars, yeah, The Last Jedi. Tell. Oh, a movie that is great. You should see it too. Uh, it's called A Little Favor. Yes. It's, you've heard about it, right? I think so. Well, it's amazingly good. Where'd you see it? We saw it at the Cinema 10. Over oh. in the mall. Okay. It was uh, a good surprise. Go see uh, a little favor. A little favor. We're running out of time, folks. And give us take a little favor and check us out on YouTube. Have a cocktail in our honor, and we'll have one yes. in yours. This is a good cocktail, and I it think it's so. pretty good. Oh, by the way, these orange barrels—they've been in my neighborhood now for two weeks. The city came out, tore up the hole at the edge of someone's property, and then left the barrels, and it, they never came back. Well, maybe they're going to sprout. There's a hole there. You have to wait till the orange barrels sprout, and then you get orange trees. Well, see, Did you know? So I, I live just outside the city limits, but the city's recently taken over the water system. So now this is what we uh, have been known to have to accept. Things like this. Oh, Mark. Our previous water provider oh, never Mark, did that. I'm so sad for you. Have a drink. It'll make you feel better. Thank you. Yes. I, I guess I need one. Is the show over Barely. or is it still going? <laughs> it looks like it's still going. I don't know. I think it's about over, Mike. Yeah, I think so. Oh no, uh, you got to get named as co producer. It's later than you think. Do, do co producer. Ray Sular, how much do we pay that guy? Oh, there it is. Are you Mark? I am. That's me. Are you Mark? Yeah. Can I get your autograph? No, I'm not.